If you enjoy going to the movie theater on Christmas, there's a film being released that day that explores a simple fact. Love is worth more than money. And as always, Jim Ferguson is here with his review. Good morning, Jim. Good morning on this holiday shopping weekend. In our Hollywood happening today flashes back to the early 1970s with the movie All the Money in the World, which follows the kidnapping of 16-year-old John Paul Getty III and the desperate attempts by his devoted mother, played by Michelle Williams, to convince his grandfather, played by Christopher Plummer, to pay the ransom. Congratulations, wow. Michelle. What a wonderful performance. Thank you so much. And, you know, I'm saying that because your character, Gail Harris, um, uh, the uh, daughter-in-law for a while of John Paul Getty, mm -hmm. Um, goes through changes. Mm. The use of flashbacks, we see your character when she was happy and middle class, mm -hmm. and then the change. Yes. Yes, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Mm. Um, they thought that they were getting into a situation where their life would be become a little bit more comfortable and where they would be around family and they would go on an exciting adventure and live in Rome. And it turned out to be a poisoned well. Yeah, yeah. So all the money in the world. It's not necessary. <laughs> and it can shape your life and not for the good all the time. It can. It yeah. can be. It's a lot of power, and that power can be turned and used against you. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to wield. Um, you know, we've talked about it in terms of they both create. They both create a kind of vacuum, immense poverty and immense wealth. They're both destructive, but in different ways. And as mm -hmm. Ridley says, you know, listen, I'd rather die in the back of a Rolls Royce than in a garbage can. But it is, it's a, it's a, it is a situation in and of itself that has to be navigated. And you see in the film, which is a true story, that, that wasn't easy to do. It didn't solve any problems. You carry a gun, Mr. Chase? I never bothered. It ruins a lot of your suit. You used to be a spy. My child is a prisoner. Seventeen million dollars. Oh, they will take his eye, his ear, the hand, and don't tell me you don't have the money. My former father-in-law only buys the best. It's time for you to do whatever it is he pays you to do. Let's hope you're half as good as everything else he's bought. We need to pay the ransom, Mr. Getty. I do not have the money to spare. No one has ever been richer than you are at this moment. What would it take for you to feel secure? More. More. I'm gonna find your son. You're protected from every threat. Unless that threat happens to be me. Paul, I just wanna go home. Paul. I didn't hire an ex-CIA officer just to pay people off. I hired you to do things that other people can't or won't do. We have to be willing to walk away. He's my son. I can't walk away. I don't think this is about money. It's about power. Power. Business. Terror. All the Money in the World opens next Tuesday, the day after Christmas. I'll have more interviews from the film, such as Mark Wahlberg, director Ridley Scott, and Christopher Plummer. It's an exciting fantasy story that I highly recommend. It's rated R, and I'm going to give it a grade of B+. Well, the Hollywood season has a number of films opening, such as The Greatest Showman, starring Hugh Jackman, and several comedies like Jumanji, Pitch Perfect, and Matt Damon stars in Downsizing. Happy holidays, and I'm going to see you again soon on The Morning Blend.